Well, hello, everybody. Welcome back to another wonderful day of Charlotte Wars Adventure in Fragmented. Okay, so, well, let's get started. So what I did was I found the save file in the directory of the game file and deleted it, and so we're going to start all over. Call this guy Charlotte War. The performance in here kind of is stinky, but that is fine and dandy. I'm not sure why it's kind of crappy in here, but that's okay. We can kind of change the size. It can be really big, really small, be about average. We've got skin color that we can kind of change. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's so funny. Let's go a little bit more up here. We got hairstyle. I wish we could turn our head around so we could see. Kind of hard to tell what kind of hairstyle we have. I'm going to pick bald. I think that's up here yep okay and then this is just colors it's the iris color I don't really care for that too much because it doesn't matter per se it's not like you're gonna see your iris ever other than here and we hit create okay and here we are in the game so basically we find that we are near a crash pod looks like the map is the same it's not same old same old so let's click on don't show again here okay so what are we gonna do hmm well first things first we need to harvest stuff so I think we can harvest this stuff so we can kind of snag some sticks and twigs there's these bushes here that we can harvest for I think we get all kinds of matter of stuff. Let's see here. Yeah, there we go. How about here? Oh, there we go. Some binaberry, which is some food, which is good. I was kind of wondering if the map was randomly generated, but I, I don't think it is. So this might be just a spawn point with the single player campaign. Which means that there's a lake down here, which we can use. So... What does that mean? Well, that means there should be some rocks around here. And we can harvest some of those rocks. Right here. Here's a rock. We need some flint. There we go. Okay, so now if we go for crafting system, we need to make a stone knife. We go craft. Okay. Do I have... What are my skills at? Oops, I hit O. Okay, yeah, my skills are not up to, to snuff. So we need a higher construction for the wood shack, I think. Electronics, we don't really need that stuff. Melee, stone axe, wood club, we definitely want those. Level 2 be sh a shotgun. Uh, refining would be that stuff. Subsistence, and mortar and pestle, it's probably a crafting thing. Survival, campfire, resin, torch. Um, this is like textile stuff. So we definitely will need to increase that, but we'll leave that like that. We'll equip our knife. Okay, so we have our knife. So now what we do with this knife is we go to those exact same things and we carry on and this is what we do now we can kind of harvest I think a little bit more resources with this stuff and that's why you want to kind of upgrade and we do need to find some stone what's this down here oh this is that so it keeps the world too cool I guess I didn't delete the world file completely so I tell you what oh cool Interesting, I'll tell you what, I will be back. Okay, here we are. So, yeah, it looks like it is exact same map. Let me just double check that map and let us run towards where the lake is. Let's see here. If we see a cabin there, I didn't delete all the files, but I did. Okay, yeah, perfect. I did delete all the files. Excellent. So we need a rock. Now last time when we went, there was a bunch of rocks kind of in this direction. So let us, let's orient, let's orient ourselves compared to this place here. 
You are exhausted. Yeah, yeah, okay. Let's see here. Crouch, go map. Um, control M. Yeah, we go add marker. And we go pod ship. Okay. So this is a crashed sh a ship marker that we have on here. So that way, we, that way we know where to find it. So let's pick up some of this fiber here. So how's everybody doing? I think we can finally talk, <laughs> finally get into it. So this game reminds me a lot of like uh, the Ark. Ark is one that would be very close to this game, I think, I feel. Let's kind of find that rock again. Because we need that rock. That rock will help. I find the HUD a little bit small, actually. So I might have to change that here. Let's kind of take a look at the options. Let's see if we can do this. Well, we can change keys. It's kind of cool. Okay. Do different actions. User interface. Toggle HUD display. How about we go video? Is there anything in here? Motion blur. Oh, what's going on here? So this stuff is all high again? I don't remember doing anti-aliasing. I, I did have that turned down to low. Post-processing, I had that turned down. Shadow quality, I had that turned down. I've got apply. Okay, everything should run a little bit better. Everything's getting darker. I might have to augment the the game with it. So this rock always spawns here. That's good to know. Just get some flint out of this. Come on. There we go. Okay. What do we need? We need more twigs. Now those creatures I think are far away. So we don't really have to worry about them too badly. At least I haven't seen them up close yet. So let's, let's harvest this stuff here. Yeah, there's stone knife, craft, perfect. Let's move the bina berries here into there. Okay, and now we should yield more resources because of this. Maybe even harvest these things a lot faster. So next thing to build would be a stone axe. And how do we build a stone axe? Well, I think we need to increase so we need that again. We just, we kept keep buying these. It's so annoying. There's the stone axe, and we need subsistence, survival, textiles. Okay, cool. We got a bunch of stuff there. Let's. What do we need to make a stone axe? Where are we? Stone axe down here. We need. More stones, more sticks. Okay. Not a problem. We got a stone right here, which I think we'll have to take off our guy. And then... Come on. Move the crouch. There we go. Crouching helps. Yeah, crouching helps for those things. Okay, am I up? Hopefully I'm standing up. Let's go back to this rock back here. So with this series, what I plan to do is just play the game, just talk about stuff, and yeah, it's basically just going to be watching me play this game, and watching me play through and learn this game, and yeah, and hopefully we'll have lots of fun with it. That's kind of the plan I have anyways, so let's, let's kind of... Perfect. Let's kind of harvest this stuff up. Okay, we got this stuff here. Some more fiber. Whatever the sweet stocks are. Stamina issues. Man, man, oh man. So what do we need to make a stone axe? We can make a cloth cap, which uses all our fiber and a rhyolite. <laughs> Stone axe, here we go. This will help us process logs. And then we need to build a pickaxe, stone pick right here. Let's build that right away as well. 
So we definitely need that. And I think we got our, our basic tools in that sense. So now we're in business. So for example, if we go with the stone axe, let's run over to this tree here. You can chop this tree down here. Let's see, bang. Let's see, come on, come on. There, let's see, there's a log. Bang, look at that. Okay, and let's switch to our pickaxe. Don't show this again. I don't like those little boxes since we know how to play. Here's a stone deposit that we can harvest some materials off of. Let's see how much we get off of here. Iron. Cool, cool, okay. And what else do we have around here that we need to harvest? Let's see, let's switch to that. This is some more cloth. Or cloth. Some fiber maybe, some sticks. Sweet stock, I'm not sure if we can do anything with the sweet stock. Let's see here, what's the sweet stock right here? Can be crushed to produce a sugary type substance. So we probably need a mortar and pestle. So let's see, where's a mortar and pestle? Right here, so what do we need for that? We would need a wood club as well. Wood club. So now we can make a mortar and pestle, but it requires campfire and stove. Oh yeah, okay. Okay, that's fine. So campfire, how do we make one of those? Can we make one of those? There we go, campfire. I need more flint, so which means I need rocks, which means we should be probably harvesting these things. <gasps> Calibrite, iron, this must be more of an iron deposit maybe. There's flint. Let's keep hitting this thing till it's gone. Calibrite, iron, there we go, okay. Got that. There's a lot of rocks here. Let's just keep hitting these things. It's neat how it makes the little holes on them. That's pretty cool. Ooh, look at this. Look at all this stuff here. Switch to our knife. Because there'll be pr most likely some food down here. All these bushes here will have food, I think. Maybe. There, there we go. No blueberries. Let's keep processing this. Okay. Where's the lake? The lake should be over this way. Oh, there's a different kind of plants here. Huh. Take a peek here. Crush it to extract ethylene. I can eat these or use them for pharmaceutical uses. That's cool. Okay, well, let's eat the binaberry first. Two. Okay. Let's run back this way. Okay, so we do want to build around here somewhere. Still want to work on that. Still want to kind of build in this area because. It's just, that's just how it's going to work. Okay, let's see here. Go up. Perfect. Okay, we got that handled. I need to get rid of this thing. Don't show again. I didn't even click on that. Campfire. We need a campfire. Should have enough for a campfire now. Okay, and then we can put the campfire. Yeah, we bet we have to activate it. Okay. Where do we want to put it? Let's put it right here. Perfect. Okay, now we. Need, this is where we can use mortar and pestle. 
See, we can craft that. Bang, okay. Now, resin uses logs. Is there anything else I can process? No. Okay. What else can we build? So there's wood shack here. But then there's a wood base. So I think we need to build the wood base before we build the shack. So we need a lot of materials. We're going to need sticks. We're going to need fiber. We're going to need twigs, logs. Yeah, okay. So on our map, let's do Alt M. No, um, M. Control M, and we go add, and this would be the campsite. Perfect, okay. Got a campsite marker. Let's go harvest a lot of these trees because we need a lot of materials. So I tell you what, I will come back when I've harvested a whole bunch of materials. Okay, so we're back here. I was doing a bunch of harvesting, but man, it takes a lot of time. So I want to make a wood base here. I'm kind of curious what this looks like. And a floor which other buildings can be placed on top of. Let's see what that looks like here. Did our campfire... Wow, our campfire just disappeared. That's crazy. Anyways, let's see what happens with the wood base. Zoom out here. Ooh, whoa, what's going on here? How do we place this here? Wow. Okay, um... Can we place it like this? Ah, oh, here we go. Let's see, let's place it right here, see what happens. Oh, man. Okay. So is this, like, the base? If I go F? Huh. How do we get up here? Do I have to come up here on this side? Ah, oh, here we go. Look at this. It's a whole big platform. That's kind of weird. It's huge. Huh. Okay. I wonder if on here we can build stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to harvest the resources and we'll start the next video with me placing a new... What is it? We're going to place this one, a wood shack here. I want to see what this is. So I need to collect logs and fibers. So yeah, so I will do that in the meantime. And yeah, and otherwise, hopefully you've enjoyed this episode. Next episode, we'll kind of build on more and hopefully advance our technology and move forward from there. So yeah, so thanks everybody for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye-bye.